Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Saudia, like the country Saudi Arabia. Welcome. Today I wanted to definitively and single-handedly tell you the story about the white bull and the black bull. I think this story has a significant socio-political relevance in today's society as it pertains to the manner in which us humans relate, interact, and treat each other. I think the story shines a light on a structure that is a means to an end and begs for a human conditioning to change completely so that it respects and serves all of us. I've actually mentioned the story before on this channel in my Palestine e Israel video, but I wanted to create a short reference video for anyone who needed this reminder of the undeniable oneness that exists between us in this multi-dimensional universe. The connection between us regardless of species is intrinsically and innately unified and when we see recognize acknowledge and act according to the power in this we are undeniably powerful together and so I wanted to share this video as its separate video because it's a very powerful story and when a friend of mine shared this story with me and when I heard the story I was just and I don't know if you know anything about me I love story. I grew up listening to um, a lot of Anansi stories by Louise Bennett and a lot of storytelling by storytellers in my culture. So storytelling is a huge part of sharing philosophical ideas and sharing culture and sharing way of thinking. And it's funny because I'm currently reading a book that uses stories as a means to detail the wild woman archetypes. The name of the book is called A Woman Who Run With The Wolves by Clarissa Pinkola Estes and oh my gosh it's such a beautiful book with amazing stories and it's so interesting how she tells these stories as she describes different wild women archetypes and, and gives solutions to how women can overcome their struggles to release their innate wild woman essence so yeah but that's not about the story so this is a very short story it's really not long at all the black bull and the white bull lived happily eating grass on a farm that's all they did they ate grass they drank water they walked out or ran out to the fields they were happy you know they coexisted together everything was okay there was a fox looking and searching for food and came upon this farm and attacked the black bull and dragged him to his death the white bull saw all of this happening on the farm that he and this black bull have lived since they were calves and he did nothing you know what he thought this is not my problem <laughs> i'm safe i'm good i i don't have to worry about any fox eating me the fox only wanted the black bull so i'm good before long the fox was satiated and he left the farm but little did the white bull know that the fox would be back in five days time to do the same to him that he did to the black bull as the white bull was being taken down by this fox the same fox that attacked and ate the flesh of the black bull he had tears in his eyes and he said i should have known that the moment you attacked the black bull you also attacked 
me. So that's the end of the story. <laughs> that is the end of the story. We can have discourse. I would love to have discourse about this story, its socio-political uh, significance in this time, this time that we are living in. I would love to have discord with you guys about what this story could mean to you. We can talk about, I can tell you what the story means to me. Let's talk about it down in the comment section. I can't wait to hear from you guys. Also, I wanted to make mention that I am trying to get to 2K subscribers. So if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below and put your notification bells on for all posts and notifications from me. I post once a week on the weekends. It's normally on a Friday and I'm hoping to have something really nice for my 2K giveaway. So please like, comment, and subscribe for more philosophical beauty and lifestyle content as well as health and wellness and I don't know, I do so many things. Food, oh food. <laughs> food content from me so thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day and be blessed Ta -ta. <laughs>